Welcome, everyone, to the Real Hoovians cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Yeah, hello. Well. What's up, Philip? All right. What's up, Brian? What, 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 what up? What's up, Matt? Welcome back. All right, Matt. So you handle all, all things to do with conventions and celebrity appearances, right? And you do bookings months and months in advance, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Okay. So translate for us what's happening with in your eyes. Like if you say – you know all this, that you need to promote stuff in advance, you need to advertise, you need to market the actors so that way your convention's a success months ahead of time, right? And the momentum, the websites, the emails, the tweets, YouTube videos, everything promoting the convention circuit, this one's appearing in this, this one's appearing in that. Tell us, translate for us, how it's done with Series 12. Basically. So, if you're doing a Comic Con like San Diego or New York Comic Con, who all who for San Diego, how they operate is they bring all the talent in via the networks. Because say if a talent doesn't like cons, it is in their contract that they must appear on a panel. That's why you get certain guests who don't do normal conventions do it. So for say Doctor Who, for example, you could have guests on there that probably don't like it but they have to do it anyway because it's part of their contract anyway so in terms of this current series the Doctor Who because it's sadly the only thing we are as you as we've been talking about is getting marketed purely by word of mouth filming and it's all pop stirring at the minute without any official cast or crew and being at these conventions is causing so much speculation right now. I mean, until, like, say, Chibnall is sat at a desk and they're all doing the talks and everything, basically, the problem we're finding with the show at the minute is there is absolutely nothing to talk about. BBC hasn't confirmed anything. We've heard nothing. And as I said in the last call before, it was over. Tosin and it's the only main cast character at the minute who will be doing a convention later this year. Which makes, me, which, which makes me question whether he's been kicked off the, the crew if he's the only one doing a convention. Yeah, because he's already booked for not only Chicago, he is doing a London gig next March already. And it just makes you wonder, why is Tosin the only cast member allowed to have two general cars? Granted, he did them beforehand because he was in The Force Awakens, but why is he been given a special pass when you've not seen Jody, you've not seen the others do a general convention, unless it was panel only? To me, it seems like there is something going on, seeing Tosin as being the only one allowed to do the shows when the rest aren't. I mean, the side characters, like Grace has been allowed, Rose has been allowed, because they were they got guest characters even Tim Shaw doesn't but it's a weird circumstance that a main companion for the new series is being allowed to do this because none of the main companions did it until after they left the show okay so here's the thing you're saying he's booked till March right he's booked for March for the, the whole month of March no he's doing one day appearance um, subject of work and everything so he can cancel for work but it's really convenient. He's doing the whole of Chicago TARDIS at the end of November, going on to December. And they are off. They are going to be finished filming. They do get some time off, right? Oh, absolutely, because that's, that's a long run up to Christmas. But the point right. is, why is he the only one that's being allowed to do the shows freely? Well, the there's a reason. Concert? Here's the thing. There's a reason for it. Now, Bradley Walsh... Michael Scott Sinclair, don't you dare. Bradley <laughs> Walsh... Bradley Walsh <laughs> <laughs> While he's off, right? Explain to us what he's doing. He's filming the chase, right? Yeah, he films the chase you pay, which is um, for those in America that don't know, it's a popular like game show, and he's the host. They do and, have an American edition, and he's filming every single day, but, uh, tons of days that he's off because he wants to get caught up where they have enough episodes in the can if he has to film Doctor Who for the whole damn year, correct? Yeah, even when he's doing Doctor Who, he pops down to ITV at the studios and also films in the chase and hops back off to Cardiff to film Doctor Now, he's also doing another series with his son. Yes. Um, 
you're actually supposed to be doing that. So, to, um, I don't know. Aren't they that's... traveling around the world or, or all over the yes. world? It's, it's a yes. Thought, yes, it, it is a form because of traveling. Because Bradley hasn't yet. Bradley hasn't been able to do San Diego because of his commitment to in England. Right. So, so common sense. Traveling around the world, right, with another series. How could he film if it's not even in the UK? If, like, say he's going around the world and he's going to America and he's going to different states. He's got to film it all around his schedule and not only with the chase, with that Correct. around the world series. He has to right. film it in blocks when he's directing. Right, so there's two big things he's doing besides Doctor Who, too, right? So let's just say, let's just take a guess that everybody is in it, right? Everybody's yeah. in the next series, right? You got to wait for Bradley Walsh to film his commitments. Mm -hmm. While he's doing that, Toss and Cole is doing the convention circuit, right? Toss yes. and Cole, argument's sake, will finish mid-March, right? Um, possibly, yes, because March 30th is when he's currently scheduled for that event. March 30th? Yes, for one day okay, so April. Okay, so April, technically, he would be free. Yes. Okay. So here's the thing. It's speculation time. Ready? So far, we knew we know two companions' schedules. We have no idea what we have no idea what Mandip Gill was doing, right? Uh, she's purely Carol even knew what she was it. doing in the freaking series. Wait, what did you say, Matt? <laughs> unless, she's pure, unless she's purely just sticking to Doctor Who, like Jodie. Like oh, here's the thing. But, I haven't heard Jodie's doing anything. I haven't heard Yaz is doing anything. So it looks like. If they do film in end of February, it's gonna be the Doctor and yes, which we no would change. Way. It up. We would change hey, it wait, up. Dude, if they did they, that, they you, you would lose. It, you you would lose blocks. a lot of people. But I'm not Philip. I'm not saying that that's the only ones. We would get another companion, a new companion. Yeah, I get that. Okay, yeah. Because it's it, being very much hinted that last year was well. That was supposed to be a one-time deal, but they called him back in apparently. Um, Right. So here's the thing. Either they're filming end of February, or here's the weird thing, they're not filming until super late. Let's yeah, let's say night, nightmare scenario, they start filming series twelve. April. Do the calculations, Philip. How long before we have Doctor Who then? April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. December. If you're talking about an, uh, a nine-month ten months schedule, ten months, ten months. Okay, then 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 you're talking about October. So May, yeah. June, July, uh, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. <laughs> okay, I'll see you mean. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's he no was... way people are going to. Doctor is taking too long for. It would be more than a year. People are going to lose their shit. HBO Max. Unless they, unless they have another break. Another, another hiatus. I mean, go and give then a perfect start with... example. Like, for an example, I'm doing Doctor Who. It's Star Wars. That's been filmed all here in, in the UK. And that is done within the same year. It's right. It's been filmed for certain months. How do they do a major motion picture in less time than it takes a Doctor Who? Like, it's like certain things. It's just ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. They film it all on site. They get all the actors. They get everyone in, and that's done ready for Christmas. Doctor Who. Yeah, because they get pretty much like three, uh, three people, three field uh, filming here and there. Star Wars is is churning out more films than series television for Doctor Who. That's being left behind. And Walking Dead. How many episodes they do a year? Jesus, it's like they have two parts of the season, right? So it's like yeah. 16 episodes, 16 episodes. Say Arrow. Arrow was like 23, 24 episodes a year. Yeah. So it was 21. Easy. Right. And they turned out easy. Yeah. So, like, what the hell is going on here, obviously? And you know, with Russell T and Moffat, even, even though it was slow when they were filming, they would still churn out in that same year. And I'm sorry, but you will never get a Russell T. Davis again. Because Russell T. Davis basically did Doctor Who, did Torchwood, did Sarah Jane Smith. He danced the tango and he talked a different language. I make fun of that, but like that's basically what he did. He I, did I, I, I think 
I think that the Doctor Who for BBC is on the way. They, they're not really bothered about it anymore. It's gone on. It's not they, that. Just, no, 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 no. They, it's this, not a bit. You can't say that. They just took millions of dollars from people. That's, that's immaterial, though. If it was done, they wouldn't take money from China and HBO. They would just cancel it. And they wouldn't let it finish carry on with like the continuity on the screen. Then, if, if, there is, there is took... infighting with Chibnall constantly. Constantly. Yeah. So it's either like, and then I don't understand what happened the last time that, from my source, he got more powerful. He got more power for whatever. They got leaked. They were embarrassed. They were aggravated. He's more powerful than he was. He could do certain things that Russell T. Davis couldn't. What, what, does, that, what does that mean, though? More I, don't power. Know. Mean? I don't fucking know. All I know is I keep hearing they wanted the Christmas special. He's like, no. That they made fun of it where it's a Christmas special released in New Year's because it's just like the asshole. Yes, that's why we had time. Of, that's why we had twice a fun of time because even Moffat said Chipper wasn't interested in doing Christmas. He fucking hates Christmas. Hates so maybe, it. So maybe you won't get you won't get a New Year's special or Christmas special this year then. It's and not about not having a New Year's special. He's okay with a New Year's special, but they they saying it's they wanted Christmas and he's like no, he doesn't yes, care. They're doing it because of the deal, because they want to say to China, oh, I, we know it's not ready, but here's this. We did two specials in 2019. He's not, he doesn't care about that. And he's not, he's making it difficult. I mean, look yeah. at Broadchurch. Lots of fans wanted a Christmas special, and he was like, no, it was series only on the... He movie. hates Christmas specials. Will not do it. And let me tell you something. If he did did away with specials totally... Then you would have the least amount of Doctor Who yeah. started. So why wouldn't anybody be flipping out about that? Well, it's all I mean, been cut by the tail. I mean, look at the changing of the guard. Even in that first year when Doctor Who came back, it was David Tennant who got the Christmas special instead of him. Don't forget also that Kibnall changed Doctor Who from Saturday to Sunday as well. Well, so that's stupid too, it? by the way. That's dumb. Yeah, because you, you, can't keep, you can't keep blaming like Strictly Come Dancing and all the other shows. Doctor Who was even... Doctor Who's like been going that. up against everybody. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. He's been doing it. They've been doing it for years. Now all of a sudden they're yeah, afraid? But, yeah, because it used to be on weekdays, it used to be on weekends, and now Sunday... So what's next? Sunday. BBC Three? You don't wish it. Don't wish it. If it moves to BBC Three, it's dead. It's dead and done. Yeah, no shit. Uh, that's a full class one, and look what happened. Listen, I, 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 I got a bad feeling about Doctor Who future. You? I, got a very bad, I do. I got a bad Fucking feeling. everybody, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have a bad feeling. It's just a bad show of them. No, but I just think there's a whole, there's a whole ethos of, of, of Doctor Who since Jodie's come, come on board. It's, it's not be a, her fault. It I'm not saying that it's her like fault. Everybody blames Jodie Whittaker. I, just, I don't get. I'm that. not blaming her. I'm just saying that the whole idea of having a female doctor is not taking. Oh, it's, it's been not, around for years. But... This, this is what that... I've said from the beginning. What they should have done was made her a spinoff character. Whether you want to have her be Romano, whether she should have been somebody new. She's not her fault, though. They they could. This is how they could have done it. They could have had her as a spin-off character. They could have created their own versions. Uh, they could uh, create a whole new uh, lineage, a whole new idea. And then while one, while one show was on hiatus, the other one could be in its time we, we spot. Yes. yes. This, 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 yeah, this, 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 and, and then, and then he, here's another thing they could do. Everybody looks forward to specials. You could do a, you could do a crossover. So that way, not only do you... The, the holiday special to look forward to. You get the cro uh, get the uh, special for the crossover. So you're getting yeah. two at the same time. But no, that we had to change her to a female because we got to show female. But yeah, listen, listen, listen. We stop. Listen, it's done. We can't change it. I know. So I'm just saying this is what it. they should have done. I'm not saying so let, he needs to fix it. it. He needs to get her the best scripts, and he needs to fix it because it's, it's she's going anywhere. She's not going anywhere. Listen to me. She's a lock for series thirteen. She no, is no, not no. going anywhere. I don't yes. think so. I don't. No, think it's so. true. 
I think that she's done by the end of season three. No! No. She's done, mate. No! I'm telling you, she's done. No. No way. Yes, if you're wrong, it... you're buying him 20 big finishes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking about big finish, did you hear that they've, uh, uh, Bernice Summerfield, uh, they're putting on a contest where if you send in yeah, something, so you right, may get contest. something. You might get the, your story uh, made. Oh. That's a good idea. That's a good thing. Yes, two, two on two writing for big finish. Hmm. Yeah. Imagine. Um, that would be good for you. They should pull though. somebody from that. <laughs> To do uh, <laughs> right, uh, right instead of Bert, You were just like Bernice kissing every female in there. No, I've, I'm been, having, I'm I've a, heard I'm about her. I haven't even listened to any of her stuff. I'm having a hard time with her with River Song going being everywhere at the moment. So please, no more. Uh, They're bringing River her song. back two to one. Listen, here's the thing. I, I blame. I blame. Somehow. I blame Chimno for all this. This infighting with all you can't the, really, you can't really do that. You can't do that. It's got it's to be Chimno's fault. Why everybody's having a canary right now? A canary? <laughs> no, but everybody's <laughs> flipping out. Conniption fit? Yeah, oh, because because what? Because was wrong seven years ago. It's like who fucking cares? Like nobody knows. Listen, everybody oh, like thinks, like you know what the fuck's happening. Nobody knows what the fuck's happening. They want to think that they know what the fuck's happening. Nobody knows what the fuck's happening. Hang on. Yeah, it, was the same, call, it, was a, it was the same last year, this whole thing. No, it wasn't. Like, it's worse. It was. It's a million it, fucking it, times worse. It, it feels worse now because no. it's, it's just a continuation of what happened no. last year. No, it isn't because last year you least had her fucking stroll in the runway showing off a fucking coat. I'm the fucking doctor. And let's talk about cutting. Yeah, but, yeah, but that's, 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 that's not being okay, Jane that's Bond. Enough. They had to they had to prostitute her just to get everybody to like her. Fair enough. Now that's all died down. What else have we got to surprise us with? Nothing. But it's worse because no. Listen to me. By not being a comic con, nobody knows what the fuck is happening. So they're like, oh shit, oh shit. Every little thing, like oh, nothing's happening. No trail. What the fuck? People are losing their fucking mind. I mean, I know people that are working on the new series, and even they, they, they can't even say what's going on. Matt Rose does the conventions, and he don't know what the fuck they're doing. No. Nobody. Doctor Who magazine doesn't have a fucking clue either. I don't know if they could. They could they're not a liberty to say because of all their contracts. Radio Times, they don't even know shit either. <laughs> Nobody knows shit. I even mean, did you like a like, cult box article again, did you? Fucking BBC's crying. Everybody's upset. Like, what the fuck's happening? Nobody knows. Nobody was shit. Okay, so if we don't get anything out of them by, by October, anything no, at all. They're not at the then... talk, so they're not, they're not there for this. Jeremy's not even coming no, I mean, out of yeah, yeah, but I mean, any kind of news about Doctor Who, whether it be convention or not. If we don't get nothing by October, then you know that no, Doctor Who's in trouble. Get more figures, no, you don't. More. No, no, you don't know it's in trouble. I just keep you telling you, we're not getting anything until children need. But that's too late. But it's no that's shit. Effort. That's way too late. To, no to shit. Remember. <laughs> a trailer in children need. Listen, for, for Christmas. Saw her. She was I was told the, the mindset, right? I was told the mindset of the BBC, right? Through the whole cast and Carter thing, they refused to say shit. They refuse to how, how, why should we say anything and, and cater to the fans? They didn't say shit, right? And what happens? Terrence Dix dies, and they're like, oh, yeah, here's the Doctor Who show, and people are like, oh, he's still with Doctor Who. It's like, could you have said something before a funeral? But no. <laughs> they didn't fucking do it. They didn't give a fuck. Do you understand? They, they just don't. They Fucking hell no! They are. They are. This. I. I, I bet say, you. Because my brother does work for the BBC, and I will have to say, he said it's not been the same as it has been for the last couple of years. Yes. And let me tell you something. Do you honestly think this thing in KF, KS and Cardiff was a big deal, right? Even though it was solved, supposedly. I think they, it was a big deal. They, they, it was a big deal, and they didn't want to fucking get anywhere near it. They didn't want to talk about it. They don't want it to be like last year where they talked about it in Starburst magazine. It was like, oh, shit. 
They didn't want any of that shit. And obviously people in Schindler's camp was pissed when it was going on to leak the shit to these other people. And then when it was solved, it was like, why the fuck do you leak that shit? It was, it's a mess. So they are going to be effing silent till children in need. Yes, because even though we've seen Jody has film for it, they for have still spite. not what for. For spite. They ain't going to say on. it. What was that thing that I saw a while well, well back where she's well, with David Tennant? Remember, she was on that crossover with David Tennant. Hang on. Wait, doing wait, wait. an album thing. They're just singing, right? Aren't they singing? Oh, God. So like the doctor's young, wife, old. Shirley Jones, is going to be singing, and 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 Olivia Coleman singing, and and um, so Jody, Jody, yeah. Jody so, Whitaker, so, and, and what? So that's not so that's nothing to do with children in need, then. It's a children in need thing. It's an event for children in need, but it's not Doctor. Well, then Who. that's that's the only thing that I can think of. Then that you're going to get. You're not going to get any Doctor Who trailer. You are going to get a trailer on there. You are. No, you're not, mate. You're you not. are. And you're not. Yes. I mean, the last time, the last time she was on it in character was last year, but that and, was and that was part, they did that with the Daleks because they were in jeopardy of fucking not having an appearance for the Daleks for 2018. Okay. So that was accepted as a pass for the Dalek appearance, just like 2019 resolution, which means 2020 we need to have some shit. Right. So the, like I I said, mean, so the, so the joke. The children need thing, right? They they need to tell they need to tell you about that in October and say that's what's coming up. Why are they going to tell you? Why are they going to tell you the trailer is going to be in October for November? No, not not necessarily a trailer, but anything to do with Doctor Who will be in Children Need. In October. It is. Go, Just how do you okay. know it is? Because my source in the BBC said that's one of the fucking things going to be playing. That's, that's a source. A source doesn't mean nothing really. When you think about it. Anybody can be a source and tell you shit. But it, I'm not That's saying. Okay. You're not, Philip. It is September fifteenth. No, well, I'll tell you. I just want you to be. I just want you to be careful with what you what you're told. Okay. And, be, you know, and understand. That, I, you know, I I know you're trying to protect me. I get it. I, I yeah. I I appreciate it. It's September fifteenth. We have no idea about a special. We have no idea about a series. People didn't know until Terrence Dix died that Chimna was still showrunner. So, yeah, that's true. why do you think this is going to improve this month? So, even if it's just something, even if it's like the release date, at least it's better than nothing. Listen, he was pissed that they got, we got Cyberman pictures out. He flipped out. And he, he flipped. He got it, fucking security up the ass for the end of the film. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's real though. I told you to verify it. It's real. Yeah, that's Everybody was reporting what I said, but did I get credit? No. You but know that's what? Hard. The fact the fact that you said about how they ramped up the uh, the final stage of filming and, and they ramped up all the security, doesn't that tell you that something big is happening? Yeah, but can I ask you a question? Who told me that? The source, we, right? Yeah. Well, okay. But but again, who followed the story after I said it? Everybody. Right? Everybody said it. My words amped up security, right? Yeah. Everybody yeah. said it, but did, like, and some people thank you. They did give me credit for it. I do appreciate that. Some people did. A lot of people didn't, right? Fine. But he doesn't want you to see whatever the fuck he's doing in the, in the last episode. No, he's a bit on well, that, 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 well, that goes without saying, though. That goes without saying. If you want to keep something really tight lit, tight lid, you, you, you do that. All right, well, let me ask you a question. You know Stephen Fry is in the first episode, right? Yes. Do you have any fucking pictures of him on set in the fucking thing? No. Nope. That's no Thank you. So, okay, so if you don't have any pictures of him, how the fuck you don't know that they, they filmed the Christmas special or a holiday special? If you don't, need, if, like, you don't got, we don't got shit of anything, right? They could have did a fucking Christmas special in a fucking soundstage or some that's shit. Have you have no fucking doors. idea. And anybody that's talking about Doctor Who news has no fucking idea because he could have fucking did that. They could have did a whole Thank you. Thank you. What's that? Thank you. What's that? No, I'm taking Matt. Yeah. No, what did Matt say? What did Matt say? The last time we had something this big, security wise, it was Missy. And they had to play out that she was the Rami on set, so people didn't know she was in it as the right. monster. So fucking Olivia Coleman fucking shows up. It's like, oh shit, amped up security. I'm not saying that's yeah, the, the reason. Time, 
<laughs> the last time she was on Doctor Who, um, Moffat regretted that. She wanted to have a yeah, because he heart. fucking ruined. Listen to me. He will get it. He ruined her fucking appearance. Now, I don't, but you know what they should have been upset about? They should have Mark Gatiss should have been upset that he ruined fucking David Warner's appearance because he could have been a fucking mother of all villains. He could have been a master himself. I said he was just like a dancing god. Happy. He's a fuck. It's like what the fuck? Why would you waste an appearance like that? Yeah, for Rachel Gould and everything. Fucking so Cold War. That shit sucked. Cold War? You think it sucked? Well, in a way, I didn't think it did. he sucked. I think it sucked that they wasted his potential. Yeah, what, they would it. Yeah, it's, it's true. Yeah, you're Moffitt right. You're right. I think that's the problem. Is Moffat also rewrote some of his scripts, and you don't have Chippendale's involved with the rewrites, because Russell was involved with some of the rewrites. All I know is... Something's happening in the finale. She, and remember, she's, remember regenerate, that, because, she's regenerating. That's what it is. Well, let me ask you a question. Remember how I said that the Cybermen are appearing multiple times in the season? And everybody's like, I'm out of my fucking mind. Remember that? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, who the fuck is reporting this shit now that the Cybermen is the story arc for the whole season? Who the fuck's doing that? Everybody right now, right? Why the fuck am I, I insane when I fucking say it? <laughs> I don't know. Exactly. Because people don't like this fucking face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they don't like this shit. Oh, oh look at that little well, pudgy face. Oh. Sick, that's Wait, stop her. Stop How could you not that? love this face? Stop Would you want to wake up to this face? I think so. Uh, go. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh. 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 Oh my god, I, I, I'm going straight. I'm even sick enough. You're going right. straight, you fucker. Yeah. After that, I'm going straight. What the hole, you son of a bitch. Oh my god, that's ruined my night. I'm not going to bed now. Fucking hell. Jesus. You will with his new. Book. And we've just been deflagged, so. <laughs> I just got demonetized. Yeah. Like, this, is now hey, a, this is now a rated 18 podcast. Oh, no, but I think, I mean, but anyway, I think she's regenerating. That's why I got big security. Yeah, it's you. There's a, there's a new doctor in town. I don't want to hide it, man. Nope. No. Uh, Peter Capaldi, surprise, he'll be there. Sorry, dude. Special. You thought you got rid of me. I'm back. Sorry, dude. <laughs> She's going to be in the 60th. Uh, uh, probably not. <laughs> she's the lead. No, they wouldn't, they wouldn't put her against She's no. the lead. No, she'll be the lead. She'll be in the background. She's the lead. No. No. She'll be a wallflower. No. <laughs> Look, be a Taylor wallflower. wants to come back for the 60th. She's, the, she's the, the lead. I'm a woman Look, now. It's, it's going to be all about woman stuff, man. They're going to be all shut. But the thing women. is, uh, well, do you know what? People said that about the Dalek. And nobody was bothered. The Dalek's like, oh, it's the Doctor. Let's kill, kill, kill. Not, oh, it's a woman. I so want Davros to battle her. I said that from the very beginning. I can't wait. Doctor. You I know like what? That would be good. Wait. If they bring him back, who are they bring back? Would they be like Julian Bleach? I mean, yes, because he's the, it's like Terry Malloy. He's the I'm sorry, but Africa. no, I'm sorry. That mother needs to be 20 years old and needs to be able to walk. He just got regenerated. Oh, you, want the, you want the human, Davros? No, he regenerated. Work. Okay, is there a, is, when you have regeneration energy, did the regeneration and the energy say, okay, we'll make him young, but not make him heal his legs? No, it healed everything. <laughs> When did that ever fucking happen, Philip? Like, oh, that's true. The doctor fucking goes blind, or this one that shit grows back a hand. The regeneration energy is healing you completely. Oh, so, how about he survived? Right, so the regeneration energy should be making him be able to walk, making him be able to fucking see, curing him, and he's young, and that's what he should be. Okay, this is okay. How about this? This is what they do. He he rolls out in his in his typical chair. So you're thinking, oh, gee, okay, here's Davros. It's a fake out. But that's exactly right. Yeah. And then at some point in time, he he either opens a panel on his side or he pretty much stands up and go, okay, Jody, you and what army? Well, whatever. He dies and then a panel opens up and out walks Davros. That's what it needs to be. Rocky Horror Show and his 
But he, like you said, he would have to look totally different for what what we know him as. Why would he have to be well, totally different? He's going to sound. Well, no, but if he's regenerate, if that regeneration he's going to um, uh, uh, fix him, he's not going to look like how he looks like. How we, as we he's going to sound exactly like, the same. Like I, like I Davros when he was younger. He's going to he's going to sound exactly the same. He's not going to look the same. He's going to sound the yeah, same. Yeah, he's got to look the age. same. He's got why does he got to? Why would the regeneration stop? It depends how much. It depends how much Capote gave him. Really, it might have only been. Regenerated all the damn Daleks in the room. In fact, Clara yeah, well, from the regeneration energy too, because she was in a friggin' Dalek too. That's true, you know, and that's a big mistake they made by doing that. She could have regenerated after she was left on the damn street. <laughs> why? She had regeneration energy. Why not? Oh, sorry. When you say street and Philip in the same sentence, it's never a good name. You know, it'd be funny. If they did a sequel to Face the Raven, where all there's like a fucking million ravens killing a million Claras, because you know she's split into a million pieces and they still have to kill Clara, so they the ravens are responsible for killing every single incarnation of Clara except for the one in Snowman, and it's all. Uh, that's that sounds like a Stephen King. Oh, well, that's not very nice. Just because you want the um the, the awarding. I'm just the I'm just throwing well. speculation out there. Ooh, yes. God. <laughs> he's throwing shit again. <laughs> I, <laughs> when, I say Come when on, speculation, run. I say when speculation, speculation. I do. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, but all I can say is, all, all we can do is wait and see what what comes up. To, um, I can't to wait to see Jody's new coat. Yeah, right. I can't wait to see our new companions. Get rid of the black one. I mean, the battlefield of friggin' Jody Whitaker's time. Yeah. <laughs> Right, stop doing like those model poses. <laughs> this is not like on the podcast. Well, don't. Here's. I want to just throw this thing out there. Um, when Chibnall usually has lunch with somebody. Yes. They get the job, right? Right. He did have. He, Olivia Coleman said she was coming to Doctor Who before she spoke to Chibnall. Then they had a lunch. Then he's like, absolutely, but we didn't know when, right? He did have lunch with Pearl Mackey, and he did have lunch with Matt Lucas. And well, Matt Lucas about, did say... Don't be, don't be telling me they're thinking about... No, Matt no, Lucas no. did say... Yeah, he's but not they're, done with, they're not done with the characters, even though they've had their ending. You never know. They may want to spice it up and have Pearl Mackey appear with Yaz. Oh, my no, God. God. should be hitting on the Doctor. Well, they might be you know what, I see Tegan and Donna go at it. Then they might yeah. have. Yeah. They might have Yaz and Bill. You never know. Look what Donna Noble. Donna Noble appeared. She didn't want to be with him, and then she was with him the following series. So it's like she appeared in the Runaway Bride. She said no, but then she came back. They could do that with Bill, Bill Potts. Could pop back in. Yeah, because she's traveling the universe. With her Something could happen with the water monster because they never explained that. Like the people driving in her body, they wanted to go somewhere else. She's back on Earth. And she bumps into Joe. I used to yes. blow dry her on her and dried her up. She was, they made <laughs> it like she was a heat lamp and evaporated. I mean, they made it like she was completely in control, the, the, the puddle monster, but there was people in the body, like, talking, like, you know, like they're in a starship or some shit. The one thing I like, did wonder from that is, even though she was brought back to life from the Cyberman, what does that mean for her body that was slammed in there? <laughs> I, I feel bad for Noel. He just got screwed. I know, he was left with that woman who wants That's to get That's so me. messed up. And M Missy too, kind of like, you know. Like, wouldn't you, just, wouldn't you just go back there as the doctor to try to help out? It's like weird, right? I still don't believe she's dead because the master always survives. Oh, uh, she's, she's gone. gone. She's the vortex not... manipulator absorbed the, the impact. No, she's gone, mate. She's not gone. Uh, I, mean, I mean, look at Anthony Amy. He was killed so many times. The vortex the manipulator yeah. absorbed the blast, just like the brigadier blast, just like the Dalek blast. This is the third time the <laughs> charm. She had the vortex manipulator on her damn wrist. Did she? Yes. Yeah. What, what, why do you think she took it off? Did you think she took it off? No. No, because you can still see there's like something on her arm when you see the sleeve. She faked it as she absorbed the blast. Yeah, she let him go off and be him because in the books he goes off to be her straight away. And I'm so happy him. Danny Pink's coming back. Oh, Freaking fuck that. Panic. No way. Yeah, well, Anderson, I fucking love that shit. I told 
What, in his big sofa? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I had to put that shit on a mug. Had to. <laughs> pink on the couch. It was the greatest shit ever. <laughs> I thought you said yeah. pink on the couch. No, because he, he was like six foot, seven foot, and he couldn't even fit on this small, rinky dink couch that friggin' Moff had bought. <laughs> like, he looked so ridiculous, and Clara looked like a midget. Like, well, on the couch. Also- my only upset with him is he never really got to travel in the TARDIS. He got the worst deal on Mickey did. He, I, I'm telling you right now, I still think to this day he pissed off Moffat. Because they were going on tour and he was wearing like these weird outfits and taking attention yeah, away. He I think, always, yeah, he always had I like think he pissed. Off. I think he pissed. I think he pissed Moffat off or some shit. Moffat's like, I yeah, know. I'm doing it, yes. Yeah. Well, no. so he's not he's not allowed to wear what he wants when he's at, when No, he's I, I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying I think he did something to piss off. Because Moffat changed his whole damn plan, and the whole Orson Pink thing went out the window all of a sudden. So yeah, Chris, oh, yeah, that's true. Samuel Anderson, and then that never he, got just, he just changed his whole effing plan. Just like originally he was going to put. Finish, we'll finish that story. Right, and just originally he was going to make Amy Pond and and Love and Doctor get closer, like she's flirt with him and shit. Then she's getting married. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> it's like. Even Moffat admits like he felt weird about that. Oh yeah, he's also admitted he leaves holes in all of his stories. The big finish can fuck This fucking shit the big finish can do for the next ten years because of Moffat. I know that's like rivers and everything. That's his idea. They should call every storyline Moffat Hole, Part One, <laughs> Part Two, Part Eight. I don't like that. That's, that's a very bad title to have. The little thing on the no, it could be a little thing on the bottom. Moffat Hole, Part Eighty Seven. Part <laughs> it just sounds wrong. <laughs> I'm going to watch show what it is. tonight. <laughs> Just to show what it is. Are you going to watch Moffat's Hole, Philip? No. <laughs> He's straight, remember? He became no, straight no, now. Moffat's Hole. He became straight now, Philip. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's I'm going to watch, uh, gonna watch Avi's Hole instead. Oh, Avi's Crack. That's what I'm going to be watching. <laughs> <laughs> He's born again. He's born again. What the one in that house or the one in the TARDIS? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, Brian, you have little, what, Brian, what is what is the world according to Brian say about oh, serious God, fun? help us. He's gonna say, look at him, mommy. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> serious twelve, talk about it. What? Ask him what you think, Frank. Uh I don't... He just accepts uh, it as it comes. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I, I don't have any problem with anything, so I'm, I'm good. Because there's nothing to have a problem with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but Philip, you have contradicted yourself calling Jovi a shit actress time to time. If you want to I didn't say, you I, no, I'm not saying she's a shit actress. I'm just you hugged her. Uh, no, Phil, you have said that. You hugged her, you yes, son of a bitch. Rosa was a perfect example of her you art. Fucking hugged her. You're like, oh, I hugged her. You hugged her. You're like, you're my doctor. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. But I you son of a bitch. Yeah, Poor Jody. Before. before what we got. Yeah, but you can't. Think... No gives, no gives you back seats in this industry. Listen, everybody knows I flipped when she was chosen. And it took what, Scott? 450 oh, to 500 casts? Progression for me to write? Took a long time. It wasn't like overnight. So, but Philip, he hugged her and he's like, that bitch. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Just like Sammy Davis Jr., when he hugs a president, he's not going to be elect- re elected. Uh, wow. When Philip, when Philip wow. hugs somebody, they don't. Dude, I don't want you hugging me. I don't want you fucking hugging me. Fucking grim. Reason, was, if, no. you at, if you look at her catalog of through Resolution, she acted so much on the Doctor. Rosa, she was on the Doctor. That one where the aliens weren't really the aliens, it was good. If you give her good scripts like Colin Baker, she can act well. Give Even her some good her, shit. Give her a fucking Valyard, you're in. It's like, come on. Exactly. Yeah. Give her good direction. And those episodes were well directed, and she was acting She well. was cool when she was pissed off at the fucking Dalek. I was like, oh, shit! The fucking cat. Yeah, but that, was, yeah, but that, was a, that was a little bit too late, though. That right? was fucking good. Fucking, fucking too late, my ass. It was good. It was too late. Get out of here. You, but then you also hated that episode because you felt it was like a soap opera with the dad. She should have been like that throughout the whole of season 11. Well, but now she is because she watched Doctor Who. Uh, because Phil hugged her, so he knew she knows now <laughs> she's going to do something to him. Philip, you're her gold dust. 